Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be talking about a subscription box today. It's called Beauty Heroes. I have been a subscriber for about a year and I really enjoy it. So let me first tell you about what Beauty Heroes is. Beauty Heroes is a monthly subscription box where you get a full-size beauty product and it often comes with, well it always comes with some sort of small what they call sidekick or something that complements the full-size product. But today I'm going to be talking about their seasonal makeup box and this seasonal makeup box features on natural. So in every Beauty Heroes box you get a pamphlet and in the pamphlet it talks about the company, it talks about what you got in the box, pricing, how much that usually is, ingredients, how they use the products, tips and tricks on how to use it, and just basically a little um, fact sheet about the company. So a little bit about, more about All Natural is that they use vegan organic ingredients, they're paraben free, um, their palm oil is ethically sourced, they use ethically sourced ingredients, and you can find out a little bit more about all that in the pamphlet, also on their website, and they're just a really great company, and. I really have been enjoying their products. So let's jump in the box and let me tell you a little bit more about what you will get in the seasonal makeup box. So first off, the value of the box is $87 and you can get it up until I believe May 31st for $45, um, which is a really good deal, especially if you've been wanting to try All Natural. So in this box, I received an eyeliner in Cocoa, which is a brown, eyeshadow, I know it doesn't look like eyeshadow, but an eyeshadow in the color Ballet, which is kind of like a mauve pink blush called, I believe, Pink Champagne, which is kind of like a bright neon pink. Their lip stain in Hero, which is what I'm wearing right now, um, it's kind of like a plum color. So the first product I'm gonna be talking about is their eyeliner. It is a brown eyeliner. I don't usually wear brown eyewear, so what I actually have been doing with this is I've been kind of wearing it as a smudge, so it's kind of more like a smudged eyeliner. Um, the color looks like this. I'm gonna kind of just put it here because I'll use my hand for other colors too. So it's kind of like a dark brown, and it also comes with a smudge tip. So you can go ahead and smudge it out, I don't know, like this. So for me, I feel like this works best smudged because um, it does tend to crease just a little bit. Um, but you know, I haven't personally found a pencil eyeliner that doesn't smudge on my eyelids because my eyelids are greasy. They're super greasy. Whenever I put anything on my eyelids, they will get kind of um, greasy, 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 you know, grease. Yeah. All right. So again, this is Coco, and this is the eyeliner that you get. Um, the eyeliner is $22. So the next product I wanna talk about is their eyeshadow. So their eyeshadow comes in a rollerball, and what you can do is you can directly roll it on your eyelids, and then use a brush to kind of disperse it or kind of make it more blended. Um, I usually just use my finger, the one thing that I've noticed with the roller ball is that sometimes when it's at a horizontal angle, it doesn't come out very well. So what I would do is I would go ahead and just put it on my hand first and get the particles to come out, the pigment to come out first, and then it works well. Um, I'm gonna show you what this looks like on my hand, arm, hand. Let's see if it comes out well. So there you go. As you can see, it's kind of like a mauve pink. Um, it has like a shine to it, a shimmer to it. So what I've noticed is when it's on my eyelids, they don't, it doesn't really have as much of a shimmer. It actually kind of comes out more as a matte, but it's awfully shiny here. So I don't know, but I am wearing it right now on my eyelids. I'll put a little bit more on, so see if we can kind of see it come out more. But yeah, it doesn't look shiny, but it's kind of shiny when it comes out. I do notice a little creasing with this. 
Again, I have very oily eyelids. Um, I still use it because I think the color is really beautiful. Um, and yeah, I just really, I like it. It comes in a really fine powder, so it blends and it goes on really smoothly. Um, so when you do put on your eyelids, you might want to put some sort of primer or something so that it doesn't, if you, if you have greasy eyelids, I would put on a primer so that it doesn't kind of crease and go everywhere. But again, this is the new eyeshadow. It's $15 and there's about a gram in here. So the next product I want to talk about is their blush. So it comes with a lid and what's kind of cool is it kind of comes out like a big poof. Um, I'll show you what it looks like on my hand right here. I don't know if the camera will show it well. Ooh. But it comes out in a big poof. As you can see, it's kind of like a neon pink. And this stuff is so pigmented, like super pigmented. Um, this is the product, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but this is the product left over from putting the blush on my cheeks. And I still have probably, this is like two or three more uses for me, and this is the blush already on my cheeks. So it's super pigmented. If you want, you can go ahead and put it in a different container and then just work from it there because yes, I can definitely use this again. So again, it's super pigmented and you will definitely have some left over. Um, so yeah, what I would do is probably get a little dish I may pump it in there and then just use what I need and if I still want to wear it some more the day after, then I would go ahead and do that. Um, I'll kind of show you what it looks like blended out because it's kind of all powdery on my hand right now. And we'll do this, see if it comes out well on the camera. Hope it does. No, it didn't come out well at all, but let me see, I'll just take some from my dish use my finger so you guys can get a better idea of the color. There we go. So I don't know if you can see, but this color is like a light neon pink. I'll go over it one more time so you can get an idea of what it looks like. So that is the blush. So it's like a neon pink. Um, it kind of has some orangey coral tones to it too and it's kind of shiny um i'm wearing it on my cheeks really light i'll just add a little bit more so you can see the color but that is what it looks like on your cheeks so it's very it's a nice really nice like spring color so i think it's very cool and summer spring summer it's a really really cool um this color is called pink champagne and it retails at 25 dollars so the last product I'm going to be talking about is their new lip stains and I love this product. I basically want to get one in every color because I think it is just such a great formulation. It goes on your lips really well and it dries matte so it's not shiny and it kind of stays on forever. I can wear this basically for a couple hours and won't have to reapply and sometimes I've even eaten and it still has a little color on it. So these really just stay on your lips really well and it's really nourishing. It doesn't dry out your lips at all and it kind of keeps your lips moist. Yeah, pretty moist and um, it's just an awesome formulation. It comes in a little comes in a little like lip gloss kind of applicator like this, a lip gloss applicator. And um, a little tip when I was using it, I'll put on a little bit, and maybe since it's a darker shade, I'll put it on and then I'll kind of use my finger. Otherwise it might be too much because there's a lot of color and a lot of product comes out and you don't really need that much. And then I'll use my finger to kind of spread it out and I'll do it a couple times until I get the desired shade. But this is definitely my favorite product. And on top of it, it kind of smells like cherries. <laughs> so this color is kind of like a, um, like a plum and you can kind of build it up um, or you can put it on kind of lighter and I'll show you what it looks like on my hand. 
So this is what it looks like. It's very dark. It's like a plum, like a plummy, plummy red with some brown over t undertones. But it comes out like a purpley plum. And I think it's just like a beautiful shade. And I love this color. It's not something I would wear as much in the summer, but I think, still think I will because I do really love the formulation and this is probably my favorite item from the whole box. All right guys, so that's the video. If you wanna get the Beauty Heroes um, seasonal makeup box, I'll go ahead and leave a link down below and you can go ahead and get it there. Um, in addition, if you're not sure you wanna get each item, this weekend, there is a sale on the All Natural website for 30% off um, where you can try whatever items you want and um, you don't have to get the whole box. But if you liked everything and you wanna give it a try, go ahead and get the Beauty Heroes box because it's a really good deal for $45 plus shipping and, um, and it's worth $87 so you're getting a good deal, especially if you wanna try everything. All right, so that's my review. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe if you want to know about more of my videos, and I will see you next time. Thanks.